Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to show you some examples of how to convert from one unit to another. The four examples are converting cubic centimeters to liters, converting yards to meters, converting square centimeters to square meters, and converting gallons to liters. And again, the technique is exactly the same. So here we're going to first convert from cubic centimeters, or yeah, cubic centimeters to milliliters. And it turns out, so we're going to convert so therefore we multiply times the conversion factor. How you determine what goes on top and bottom is since cc, cubic centimeters, is on the top here, you want to have cubic centimeters at the bottom, and let's convert it to milliliters first. So a milliliter to a cubic centimeter, or a cubic centimeter to a milliliter. It turns out the conversion is one to one. One cubic centimeter is exactly the same as one milliliter when it comes to volume. The next conversion then is going to go from milliliters to liters, Again, since we have milliliters at the top, here we want milliliters at the bottom, and we want to and then put liters at the top, because that's what we're actually converting to, and the ratio there is that for one liter, we have a thousand milliliters. When you do the units first, when you place the units in the proper location first, and then you put in the conversion factor, you're much less likely to make a mistake. So, you can see that cubic centimeters cancels out, milliliters cancels out, we're left with liters, so 24 divided by 1,000, this would be equal to 2.4 times 10 to the minus 3 liters, because divide by 1,000, same as multiplying times 10 to the minus 3. And, oh, that's not quite correct. I think this needs to be 24 times 10 to the minus 3, because we have 24 cubic centimeters. So therefore, 24 times 10 to the minus 3 liters. Or, if you want to convert that to a decimal, this is equal to 0 0.024 liters. That would be the same thing. All right, now, converting yards to meters, there should be simply be a single conversion factor. We want to get rid of yards, that means yards needs to go on the bottom, that means meters goes on the top, and the conversion between one to the other is that one yard is 0 0.9, ooh, I have to figure that out in just a moment. Let me, give me a moment here, 2.54 times 36 equals, it's 9.1 one four four there you go that's the proper conversion factor I might as well keep my calculator because now i have to multiply times 440 we have 402 meters 402 meters notice that the yards cancels out and we're left with meters so it turns out that 440 yards around the track is approximately 402 meters converted to three that's uh to three significant figures Okay, now there's probably another way to do that because not a lot of people remember that one yard is 0.9144 meters. Matter of fact, I had to figure it out myself with my calculator. So another thing that we could do is we could convert 440 yards. First, let's convert it to feet. So we have, since we want to get rid of yards, we want yards at the, at the bottom, feet at the top, and then the conversion is one yard is three feet. We now may want to convert from feet to inches. So again, we do a conversion. Feet goes down on the bottom, inches goes on the top, such a way that feet cancels out. Of course, one foot is 12 inches. Now we want to convert from inches perhaps to centimeters because most everybody remembers that conversion factor. So let's convert. Since you want to get rid of inches, you put inches at the bottom, centimeters at the top. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. And finally, now we can convert from centimeters to meters. So centimeters goes at the bottom. Meters goes at the top, one meter is 100 centimeters. So this way we know exactly how to put the conversion factors down. Notice the yards cancel out, the feet cancel out, the inches cancel out, and the centimeters cancel out. You're left with meters. Let's go ahead and calculate it. And we should get the same result. So we got 440 times 3 times 12 times 2.54 divided by 100 and I get 402.3 meters, but since we started with three significant figures, we'll just write 402 meters, and that's the exact same result as we got before. So another nice example of how to do this in a continuing string of conversions. Finally here, well, not finally, we have two more examples. Now we have 36,000 square centimeters, and this is where students make uh, mistakes. So when we convert to square meters, again, we need the conversion factor. And so we want centimeters squared at the bottom, centimeters squared at the bottom, meters squared at the top. Now here we have to be careful. 
we do realize that the conversion from centimeters to meters is that for one meter you have 100 centimeters but since it's meters squared and centimeters squared right here we also have to multiply the actual conversion factors like this or we not multiply but square the conversion factor so if you have meters squared divided by centimeters squared it's one divided by 100 but that has to be squared as well so now instead of dividing by 100 we're going to be divided by 10,000 so centimeters squared cancels out we're left with meters squared 36,000 divided by 10,000 will give me 36 meters squared and of course it'll be exactly 36 meters squared because it was exactly 36,000 square centimeters now from gallons to liters again we need to know the conversion factor but since we want to get rid of gallons we have gallons in the numerator here we want to put gallons in the denominator so we have gallons there put liters at the top the conversion is that for every one gallon I think it's 3.786 liters that's what it was all right so again gallons cancels out gallons so now we end up with liters so 4.5 times 3.786 equals and that would be 17.037 liters or simply 17 liters because we have two significant figures here we want two significant figures there even though the conversion factor is bigger we want to limit ourselves to the number that we got here so 17 liters is the proper conversion for four and a half gallons so again the technique is fairly straightforward whatever you want to get rid of here you want to put in the denominator and then the new the new uh, unit up on top and then come up with the proper conversion again you want to get rid of milliliters put at the bottom here the new the new unit over here and make sure you have the proper ratio at that point so put the units first and then the conversion factors in order not to make the mistakes. And that's how we do that.